Hey guys, so I'm at uh, Laza and Brunker's place in the city of Basewater and this is a pool to pond conversion that's worked remarkably well without any mechanical filtration system. So there's no pond pumps, there's no um, air pumps, there's no pool pumps, there's no Japanese filter matting, there's no K1 media, uh, there's no wetland filter or there's no intake bay in here. So if you want to find out how, let's dive into it. basically mimics a natural wetland so you have your plants uh, which basically filter the water out of the water column and through the leaves um, and through their roots in the sediment um, and also it has lots of microorganisms or microbes that break down the nutrients so ammonia and nitrite nitrate gets converted into atmospheric nitrogen oxygen and that's called the nitrogen cycle um, so when that system is achieved the water quality remains um, uh, good uh, there's also tadpoles in this system, uh, which you can see grazing on the springy algae on the side. Um, so we've got motorbike frogs here, uh, slender tree frogs, and the banjo frogs. So it's a good diverse community of um, tadpoles here. And then of course you've got your adults floating at the surface on your lily pads and the elephant ears and papyrus and whatnot. Um, so this mimics a natural wetland in that the wind and wave action basically moves the water and then uh, the plants filter it and the microorganisms filter it and the, the animals living it like the tadpoles and the fluorescent pygmy perch which is a native fish in Perth and um, they control the mosquitoes and mosquito larvae so it's reached uh, uh, we call it ecological succession into a climax community so the climax community has a diverse range of organisms in it um, that takes a while to actually get to that level so you've got a balanced food web and initially it starts off as a primary um, succession into tertiary and then your climax or your stable um, ecosystem so this has reached a stable um, state and um, when I came out here to give recommendations I was stunned I was struck by how beautiful this pond was and how clear the water is uh, when you lift it up um, with a tank you'll see how clear the water is in a minute um, and also, like I couldn't give any recommendations because the water quality was crystal clear, yeah. um, and the water quality parameters were, were basically zero. So the ammonia, nitrite, nitrate was zero. Um, so why touch it? You know, why why touch a, 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 a stable ecosystem that's working well? Uh, so this is one pond that struck me that where I couldn't give any recommendations, and I was just happy to see it. And as a biologist. It's, it's great to see ecosystems like this in your backyard. Thank you.